Deserted streets littered with rubbish, boarded up windows and burnt out houses. This is how the Leman of the Donetsk region looks like after the Russian occupation. The invaders called their retreat from Leman, surrounded by the armed forces of Ukraine, a withdrawal of troops to more advantageous lines. In fact, they fled, the Ukrainian military said. They were in a panic, so to speak, because they did not know where to go from the units that surrounded them, and ran around the entire settlement, where they were captured by us, where they did not want to surrender, they were eliminated. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense stated that the majority of the military in Liman were relocated either to captivity or to body bags. While retreating, the Russians left the bodies of their fellow servicemen right on the battlefield. On October 4th, the Ukrainian flag was officially raised over Liman, but life in the city so far can hardly be called peaceful. After all, most of the buildings are damaged or destroyed. These photos were published by President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky. This is what the occupier left behind in Ukrainian Liman. The aggressor state is destroying any foundations of life, the economy, the social sphere and culture everywhere in the occupied territory. There is only one way to stop this – liberate our lands. Volodymyr Zelensky, president of Ukraine, on Telegram. After the de-occupation of Liman, more than 50 fresh graves were found in the city. The graves belong to civilians. Surrounding their positions, the Russian occupiers mined the city. They left mines and trip wires in the streets, in the foliage and even on the fences near residential buildings. This is a trip wire. Here is a fishing line and there is a grenade. Due to the large-scale destruction, the risk of being blown up by a mine and the lack of electricity, gas and water supply in Liman, the local leadership urges the citizens who left to postpone their return home. For those who evacuated, it is still too early to return to the liberated settlements. Large-scale demining work continues. A difficult winter is ahead, which will be very difficult to survive. The war is still very close. Pavlo Karlenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration, on Telegram. Those who have been under Russian occupation all this month have already received social payments and humanitarian assistance. Also, the Uker Poshta Postal Service resumed its work in Liman. The first pensions have already been brought to Liman and Svetohirsk. They were given out to people. Humanitarian aid was also delivered. It was distributed in Liman and in the communities around, as well as in Svetohirsk. You can immediately see the happiness on people's faces. They are happy to see both the, the military and people in general. Kirill Tymoshenko, deputy head of the Office of the President of Ukraine on the air of the National Telephone. Among the priority tasks of the local authorities are to restore the energy supply and prepare the region for winter, in particular to provide residents with firewood. In the houses that are to be repaired, it is planned to repair the roofs and to replace the windows in a month and a half. If it is not possible to restore the house before the cold weather, residents will be helped to evacuate. Reported by Roman Smoller, Valeria Nikipelova, UATV News.